Um, this one's kind of hard to show. Oh. This, is, this is a serpentine cut um, on a lathe. This is three wow. cuts. I think it's 1364. So about, this is about a half inch thick. So uh, it cut a quarter inch from one side and then a quarter of an inch from the other side. Can I show a video? Wow. Can I show sure. a video? Sure, please do. Uh, you think I can do this now? Um, share sound. This is my first video, so hang on here. Can you see it? Now we do. First off, I've, ah. been asked, I, for, I've been asked every time I show one of these bowls, I've been asked, could you do a demo and how do you do this and how do you do that? So I made this and uh, we'll see what happens here. You're now in Jim's boardroom and we're working on a 12 inch maple bowl. These bowls are pretty plain. So it's kind of nice to put like a serpentine cut into them. This is a five lobe cam, 20 inches in diameter, has a one inch deflection on it. And what happens is the sycamore bowl was plain too. And then I put the cuts on the inside and at 36 degrees you move it over and put cuts on the outside and that way you can see through it and it adds real interest. I also have a four lobe cam. The four lobe cam has an inch and a half deflection. So this gives you a higher peak in here. And that makes the cuts cross more perpendicular. And I found after doing this, the cuts cross perpendicular, but if you open them up and lay them out, it makes it more open area and adds more interest to the bowl. This bowl has been pre-turned and it's four and a half inches deep inside. I put three cuts in here and there's three cuts on the inside. So if you zoom in on this, we can see that there's actually, you can see through it on the two cuts I've already made. Mm -hmm. I started one cut here with the cutter. This is a 1364 cutter on a Dremel with a flexible shaft. This head moves it around this center to get a 90 degree on here. This whole thing goes in and out, as you'll see. Mm. Uh, the nice part of this head is it's floating and it's gravity. So I can have an OG bowl, I can have a convex or concave surface. It'll follow anything I put underneath here. Normally I wear a face shield. I can't talk through a face shield and make a good video. Um, and I often have earplugs, but uh, it doesn't make that much noise. I've already pre-cut this. I cut about a oh, heavy 16. This bowl is a half inch thick. So the inside I've cut these inside grooves, I made those about a quarter of an inch deep. So when I cut this outside groove a quarter of an inch where they cross, you can see through it, hopefully. And I also have a foot switch. Foot switch is wonderful. You plug it in when you need it and you unplug it when you're done with it. You do not leave that plugged in because anytime you touch that, that thing can come on. So as soon as you're done using it, you unplug it. I'll unhook this and I bring this down. You can see it fits into there, into the previous cut. And now when I touch
masses because it's cutting by gravity. This doesn't weigh very much. And there's a reason for that because if I start cutting too much, this whole thing's made out of wood. Um, it's not steel and it's not a known factor. But anyway, I'll do another couple cuts and pretty soon those will start to open up and I'll have cuts inside here. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Just no end to the fun. Mm -hmm. All right, Jim, what, what is the bit on the end of the cutter and how are you keeping the tension, keeping it on the little template on the, that's on the headstock? Uh, the cutter is a two blade straight, straight bladed. It, I tried this with spiral and, and the spiral down cut I thought would work great, but uh, a two blade cutter. Is works. it a router bit, like a straight router bit? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. And the, uh, on the bottom here, if I can get rid of this, on the bottom, you can see these, there's some springs under here. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. I can't see the springs. Okay, cool. All right. I wondered how that was, how, oh, how that, that was working. I, Neat. I did too. Maybe, maybe that's that's a great show, jig. Maybe I will show this toward the end here. You can see it working. See the spring? Yeah. Throw off my son's old weight set. Thank you, Jim. Very nice. That is a very cool jig. Hey, Jim. Yep. That's one of the nicest things I've ever seen in my life. Oh come on! <laughs> oh, that's, that's as nice as, as that's as nice as sliced sliced bread. Okay. <laughs> Say, Jim, it's a very nice jig, and I love the effect. It's, it's how good. do you control yes. the depth of that cut? Love the engineering. The nose of that the nose of that uh, that arm is rounded, so the depth is is. It's just riding on the nose of that arm with sticking out. Okay. So uh, I, I I have two band clamps and I adjust and push the cutter out a little more each time, but it, it just rides on the nose of that so that I could get any shape I wanted. If that was an OG bowl or it, it had a hump in the middle, I, I would go right over it and do whatever you want. Thanks, very cool, Jake. Thank and you. a wonderful effect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look, the pieces look great. Yeah. <laughs>